I'm just about ready to put it back in the booth again now and uh, prime up in the engine bay. It's been a while since I actually put the etch on here, so I've gone around and scuffed it up with some with a 280 grit soft back sander. A couple of little bits of that rust showing through again as well, so I've just cleaned those and put the new evaporator which seems to be working fairly well and tidied up that area there where the battery tray is going to bolt to I'll probably primer down the front too to this line all this is underneath the nose cone when it's finished off so you can't see any of it anyway it just needs to be uh, tied in for the paint to stay stuck to it. I think about the only part that you see is this slam panel, sort of from, from there backwards. So it's in the booth now and masked up so that I can get in and do this engine bay. Not too fussy with the masking, it's just got to stop a bit of overspray, mainly getting into the boot there where I've already painted. And time to mix up some paint and put it on. I didn't get any video of me actually painting this, but uh, I just finished putting the, the colour and the clear on this one. Ended up using the old uh, mini gun that I've had around for quite some time now. It's an old uh, Devilbus starting line gun. It uh, seems to have worked quite well. I made the mistake of using the uh, the GPI to do the undercoat, and uh, either due to my own stupidity or lack of knowledge ended up getting a lot of dry spots in the undercoat so I had to spend quite a bit of time sanding it all back and even then I haven't got absolutely everything so so I decided to use the, the mini gun to put down the paint down the base and the clear and it looks to have done a reasonable job of it I've done the front end up to the side of the guards as well, all that's hidden by the spoiler when it goes on so I can just tape that whole lot up there now when I'm working on the outside of the car. So all in all I'm pretty happy with the way it's all come out. Put some new seam sealer in down through there. And a little bit on the edge. Haven't looked closely for any runs yet. But there's probably a couple floating around somewhere. As you can see, it still needs a lot more adjustment, but that's essentially it. It's in there. There's a, one of those captive nut type things up in there. That piece of steel that we bolted on along the front. There's rivets go up underneath, and another clip around the back here. Up under there, there's four of them along the front as you can see 
the ears aren't kind to them, they sag, they look pretty average. There's really not a great deal that can be done about it. A bit of plastic repair needs to be done in a few places. But it's there and it fits and the lines pretty much match up. This guard hasn't been damaged, it's still it's still original, there's no bog, no filler in that one. Whereas this one here's got a got a touch of filler in here. See a bright spot there that lines not quite defined, but this is only an etch. It'll get uh, the high build primer over the top of it, which will hopefully fix that. I've seen worse. I've got the nose cone tightened up there now. This side here doesn't line up too bad. That'll be acceptable. That needs a bit of repairing. What I might do is is glue a, a big pad behind it there and drill a hole through the guard and run a captive nut in the back of it there. There's enough surface area to glue on in there and, and to get a decent hold. That'll that'll pull that back into there. And on this side, I'd say it'll be very noticeable once it goes back together. This guard is sitting out from the from the side of the nose cone. There's two options there, either leave the the guard where it is and add some filler to the nose cone to bring it up out to there. Just looking at the shape of the nose cone it might even need that rather than the rather than the guard being filled. It's probably, probably hard to see on the camera but to my eye it looks like it it goes down there from higher up here so it almost looks as though the guard's in the right place and this particular bit of plastic needs a bit of filler. But the worst spot I reckon anyway is the front and just the way it looks caved in. Where I think most of that comes from is this piece that goes across here. I don't know if it's meant to have a, a steel backing behind it because instead of being there like that, I reckon it needs to be held up there more like that. So there's a couple of screws through there, but it doesn't look like it'll go through to much anyway because they're only fairly short screws, so I'm not sure if there was or wasn't a bracket there to start with, but I'm going to try and make something to, to hold it up there which starts to give a bit better shape to that nose cone. But also, I'll try and put a, put a bracket up behind it. And try and bring it out. Instead of looking all caved in like that, and try and push it out. Well, see how we can make that work. So I've made up this bracket now. It comes from the middle out onto the bumper bar and it's welded up under there. 
I'll be able to bolt uh, I'll put a screw through into that up through there there's two holes already in it which to me seems that it's been bolted to something in the past but there's nothing else that actually bolts to the back of that bumper bar there so this one here should provide a little bit extra strength for it I'll try to fit all that up now and see where the next part is to straighten out this is a bracket that I've made up to hold things together that's the original joiner plate for the bumper halves and that'll sit in there once it's bolted in that bar up the front keeps keeps this pushed out stops it from sagging back this way and likewise the screws the screw that goes into that from that hole there holds all that straight and hopefully makes it look a bit better so I get all this bolted together and on the car and we'll see how it looks so that's how the bracket looks just sitting behind the grill bolted to the joiner plate for the original uh, steel part of the bumper and that piece now being kept straight by the steel well, I'll throw it on the car and see how it looks well, that's it now sitting on the car I'll see if I can do something tricky and get some photos that I took this morning and put them up beside these ones. But I can uh, I can tell that it's a lot better than what it was. It's not completely caved in at the front. Still needs a bit of work, a lot of repairs on it as well. But I think we're getting there with it. It's still drooped in a bit there, but that's what plastic heat and gravity does after 40 years. That's how that bracket sits in there on the back of the bumper. That'll be good enough for now. Here you go and around and try and fix up all these the cracks and that. There's a few. A little bit up in that corner there. about those ones there. This one here's had a repair piece put in it before so I'm not going to be mucking around with that. Just leave it as is. Try and fix up that crack there a little bit better. That had a patch in there. The one there might be a bit tricky. rest of it's not too bad. Not straight, but it's not bad. <laughs> 